Okay. Hello there, just everybody. Here's our warm up today. The measure of angle two is 37.5. What is the measure of the remaining angles? Let's see what you can do, and we will call that good. Let's see here. We're going to find that guy. Let's see. Okay, can I get you guys back up here in five, four, three, two, one. Let me go ahead and clip this out so we can actually work with it here. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, look at that. It actually went okay. That was great. Let's see here if it actually takes. Nope, quit unexpectedly. Hooray. I love it when my snipping tool quits unexpectedly, especially when the snip that I made was perfect. Let's try this again. Snippity snip. Nope, there we go. That's that's about par for the course. Now let's go ahead and show you guys what it's making me do. That's perfect. There you go. I got half of it. I got the whole thing a second ago, but uh, it like was like, okay, let me just process that, and I quit. All right, let's see here. That'd be a really funny way to quit a job, though, if somebody told you to do something, and you're like, okay, hang on, let me just run some calculations, and you like pull out your calculator, and you're like, chick, 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 write some things down, think about it, and you're like, and I quit. All right. There we go. It's like how an actuary quits their job. No? No actuary jokes for you guys? All right. So an actuary, that is a person whose job it is, is to uh, mathematically measure risks. Um, and, and, uh, and like, for example, um, uh, like, look at what, how much money would be spent to enact a new policy versus how much money would be saved and decide whether it is worth the risk of something paying off uh, or not. Uh, probably, in my opinion, that's got to be like a super high stress job. Yes, Isaiah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that probably those dates never ended well, is my assumption. Uh, so here we go with angle two. Angle two is 37.5 degrees. So before we even deal with these guys down here, let's go ahead and deal with the guys up north. So I know that these form a straight angle, angle one, angle, an angle one and angle two, angle two and angle four. So Sawyer, how can I use this angle here to find out what angle one is? Yeah, so we gotta get our calculator running. <sighs> TI, smart for you, TM emulator, software for the TI 30, X slash TI 34, multi view TM calculator, text instruments. Initializing loading menu bars, toolbar, setting up the thing, and then validating software license. It fills up, and then it goes way down. But that's okay, because it doesn't need to fill up. It just sits here, and like this little bar here. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do 180. 180 minus 37.5. Because any straight angle will always have 180 degrees. Boop. And I get myself 142.5 degrees. 142.5 degrees. But here's the cool thing, is that angle 4 and angle 2 are also uh, uh, supplementary. They also add up to 180. So what does that mean here? Let's see here. Let's go for right. What does that mean that angle 4 has to be? So 37.5 is here, and we know these two have to add up to 180. Now, we also know that these two have to add up to 180. If you do 37.5, I know if you add that together with itself, you're not going to get 180. So what did we just figure out that 37.5 degrees plus what is 180? Yeah, it's the other one. It's one of the nice things about this is it's, it's going to be one or the other, right? It's going to be one or the other. 
which means that this guy over here also has to be 37.5 degrees. These two right here have to be the same. Vertical angles are congruent is a fancy schmancy way to say that. But the truth is, guys, is you just kind of wheel it. This is 37.5, so that's 142.5 because these have to add up to 180. These have to add up to 180, so that's 37.5. These have to add up to 180, so that's 142.5. Now, here's the cool thing. That thing we really wished was true about these winds up to actually be true. Josh, what is actually true about the angles up north here and the angles down south? They are literally the same. So this is 37.5 degrees. This is 142.5 degrees. This is uh, 37.5 degrees. And this is 142.5 degrees. This is part of your level two. If you can do this and only this, you're probably going to get a 1.5 on this skill check. I'm not too worried about the level other, other part of the level two. But how many of us are feeling all right about this stuff now that we've seen that again? You guys doing okay? Good. Let's get to it, guys. It is the 123rd day of school. Did you guys know that other than six, 123 is the only number that is two more than a perfect square and two less than a perfect cube? Because 11 squared is 121. And what number is two more than 121? 123. And then uh, 5 to the third is 125. What's two less than 125? 123. There's only one other number in the universe that does that, and that's 6. Because that's two less than 2 cubed and two more than uh, 2 squared. No other, numbers, no other number does that. Ah, it's okay. Luckily, that's not on the test. It's Canine Veterans Day. Yeah, today's the day that we recognize uh, military dogs. Military dogs. They do a lot of hard work, stuff that's difficult, and they put their lives on the line. So today's the day to say thank you to that. If you already saw our time card, there's actually a link to an article about Canine Veterans Day. And in that, there's actually a, a link to some like really famous, uh, famous dogs, including a military dog that like some guy in World War I found this like little Yorkshire Terrier that wound up being like incredibly helpful, like in the war. And it's really, it's a really cool story. Plus, it's just funny to see a Yorkshire Terrier wearing like a military vest. Anyway, what is our first essential question? And I'd love to get that from Midori. Yeah, what if there are, uh-oh, variable expressions? in these angles of transversals. By the way, our Jeopardy, since we lost an hour, which I don't know about you guys, I can definitely feel like we lost. How many of us feel like we lost an hour here? Like, you understand that uh, according to our biological clocks, do you, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's 7 o'clock right now. It's only just barely not 6, six in the morning anymore. Like, how many of us, I, I, I totally feel every inch of that. So our Jeopardy in honor of that is it's less than an hour, things that are less than an hour. Though games in this sport last, on average, about 2 hours and 14 minutes, it actually only has 48 minutes of play time. This season, Kyle Lowry, Luka Doncic, and uh, Donovan Mitchell have all played 48 minutes in a single game. Anybody know what game that might be? Yeah, it's NBA basketball, NBA basketball. And then... Uh, Musical terms, pieces, and instruments. That's a violin. Good job. Very good. That's a violin. All right. Here we go. Underneath all this, guys. Got a pencil? Today we're talking about variables and transversals. Okay. So we're going to start like this. We're going to draw a pair of lines, and we're going to make them look as parallel as we can make them because they're supposed to be parallel. Now it turns out, guys, that you can actually get a this, – this is a level 3 question, by the way. This is what level 3 questions look like. Not yet, but it's going to. Is that this thing – a lot of us can actually get most of the points from our level three without having to do anything with variables. Let me show you what I mean. 
So what a level three is gonna look like is it's gonna look something like this. Let's go ahead and say that this angle right here is 136.6 degrees. When I say teach, I want you to say, okay, you can actually fill the rest of that out. I think all everybody could fill all the rest of that out. So before I actually add any variables to it, I just want to prove a point here. That two-thirds of the points of this is going to be telling me the measure of two of these angles, maybe this one and this one, or that one and that one. But go ahead, guys. When I say teach, you're going to say, okay, talk to each other. How can I find the measure of all these angles if I know that that's 136.6 degrees? I can find the rest of them. Give it a shot and teach. Okay. Hola, Kevin. ¿Cómo estás? So, necesitamos tres líneas. Dos líneas. Está, no lo sé, ¿cómo se dice? Parallel. So, sí, uh, no. Paralismo. Oh, paralismo. Perfecto. So, dos es paralismo. Aquí. Y necesitamos una línea aquí. So, tienes uh, uh, triángulos. Es, uh, uh, dice perlismo. So, este ángulo es uh, un 136, un 136.6 de grado. So, so, todos líneas tienes un 180 uh, de, de, de grado. ¿De grados? Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, de grados. So, ¿Cuántos de grados está aquí? Um, pero uh, este uh, ángulo, uh, sumar este ángulo es un 180. ¿Cuántos están? Sí, sí. So, uh, ¿Dónde está la calculadora? ¿Qué número es tu, uh, su calculadora? No sé. Ay, ok, un momento. Está, está 40. 40? Uh, for now. There we go. Okay, so. Right. Yeah. So. Un cien a uh, ochenta de grados está en todas las líneas. So. Para este ángulo necesitamos un cien ochenta menos un cien Uh, uh, 36.6 de grados y él tiene 43.4 de grados pero este ángulo sumar este ángulo es un 180 todos todos los tiempos un 180 sí sí so este ángulo en la línea tienes un 180 de grados. Y este ángulo, uh, uh, when these are uh, per, uh, paralismo, este ángulo está igual a este ángulo. Y este ángulo es igual a este ángulo. Ok. So, este ángulo es sumar un 180 uh, de grados, usar la calculadora, que es este ángulo. How'd that go, guys? Great. That should be good. That should be good. Very good. How'd that go over here, guys? Oh, where's this, Sarah? Oh, that's excellent. How it yes, very good, very good. So let's make sure we get that on our paper as well. Sorry. Looks good, looks good, looks good. You guys are doing great. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Let's see, huzzah. Well done, looks good. Okay, very good. Working on getting that finished up. I like that. Huzzah, that looks good. Getting that filled in, looks good. How are we doing over here? These are looking really good. Very good, very good. So don't forget, this means that I can actually put that over here as well. So that makes a difference, right? There we go, very good. Yeah, because the copy's on over. What we want to be true winds up being totally true.
Okay, can I get you back up here in five, four, three, two, one? All righty. Ariana, this is 136.6 degrees. So I want you, I'm actually going to hand you this. I want you to mark off all the angles that are also 136.6 degrees. Just go ahead and put a little arc on them. You don't have to write any numbers. Just put the little arc on everything that's the same. Very good. Very good. Very good. When those are parallel, corresponding angles are congruent, all alternate interior angles are congruent, alternate exterior angles are congruent. All of these are 136.6 degrees. Which means all the other angles must be what? Well, let's see here. Midori, what must all the other angles be? 43.4 degrees. Very good. How many of us were able to get that without too much trouble? Now, here's the kind of thing you're going to get asked on a skill check and on a self-assessment tonight. Is what are the measure of all these angles, which everybody already got? And what is the value of F. Like what if this said this? 5F minus 36 degrees. Let me zoom in on that. What we've done is we've replaced one of these with a variable expression, this angle right here. But here's the thing. Did I change the measure of that angle, yes or no? No, I didn't. So I know that the measure of that angle is 43.4 degrees. So my question is, how can I use the fact that this angle is 43.4 degrees to find out what the value of F is? I'm gonna give you guys a minute and 30 to think about that on your own and then we're gonna work on it together. Teach! Bye. No, it's F. <laughs> <laughs> so can you write an equation, Angie? You're absolutely right. So you're saying that this has to be equal to something. Can you write that down? Write 5F minus 36 equals, and then write down what it has to be equal to. It's like a minus 36. All right. Another 30 seconds here to think about it. Did I really write a one up there? That's fun. <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, can I get you back up here in five, four, three, two, one? Yeah, I pulled the Mr. Snyder card. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hold on to this, buddy. All right, listen up. Here we go. I'm looking for a little bit of help out there. This is going to come from Sedoni. Sedoni, what do I know about 5F minus 36? What does that have to be? That's exactly right. 5F minus 36, whatever that happens to be, has to be equal to my angle here, which is 43.4 degrees. So we set up an equation that looks just like this. Nice little two-step equation for us. All right. So we got this nice little two-step equation for us. Let's see if I can get a little bit of help finishing that off. Let's see here. Rosalie, what am I going to do to both sides here to get this F just a little bit more lonely? 
I'm glad we're talking. This is a two-step equation, which means I've got to get rid of the 5 or I've got to get rid of the 36. What do I have to get rid of first, young lady? That's right. And how do I get rid of a minus 36? I got to add a 36. All right. So we're going to pull out our calculator, 43.4 plus 36. Now I get 79.4. 5F equals 79.4. How many of us were able to get 5F equals 79.4? Or at least see how we got that. How about that? All right. Good, good, good. Okay, let's see if I can get a little bit of help here from Oliver. What's going on between this 5 and this F right here? And what is the opposite of times? So we're going to divide both sides by 5. I'm going to pull out my calculator because it's pretty early in the morning to be doing that in my head. 79.4 divided by 5, that's 55. 79.4 divided by 5, I said. 15.88. How many of us were able to, able to get this or see how we got that and aren't too concerned? You guys doing okay out there? Okay. We should do another one just like that, I think. Okay. Here we go. By the way, I appreciate you guys working together. I think you guys are doing an awesome point. I think you deserve There we go. I was a little bit quick on the draw there, Sparky. All right. Got a pencil. Come on, boneheads. Got a pencil. There you go. I'm going to go like this, like this. We're going to go ahead and say that these are parallel. Two little arrows. Cross it like this. I'm going to tell you that this angle right here is 80 minus 4t degrees. Let me make that bigger for you. That's 80 minus 4t degrees. That's the measure of that angle over there. And I'm going to tell you the measure of this angle over here is 87 degrees. So when I say teach, I want you to say, okay, I want you guys to talk to each other. First of all, what's the measure of all the rest of these angles? If you got this one is 87, you should be able to tell me that. All right? And if you know that, what that angle is, you should be able to solve for T. Give it a try, and here we go. Teach. Okay. All right. Hello, ma'am. Certainly. Send them on in. Young lady, right over here, table I, don't talk to anybody. It's the one with the chairs up. All right. Do you guys already get it? Oh, you got some questions. Okay, hang on, I'm coming. Thank you, sir. Go ahead, come on in, just anywhere at table C. All righty, you feeling good about this? Good, how are you guys feeling about this over here? I heard a numb. How are you feeling about it, though? Okay, we'll take it. How are you feeling about this over here? I got seven. That What's that? Still okay, well, then I'm glad we're talking here, right? What do these two angles have to add up to, young lady? Great, so what's that angle right there? Where's your calculator? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sir, are you stealing a young woman's calculator? <laughs> Sir, this is what they say, chivalry's dead. You know what I mean? There you go. Go ahead and do 100. No wonder she can't do it. Look at that. Sawyer, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Minus 87. See, look at that. Now you're on the trolley. That's 93 degrees. Go ahead and fill it back up. Now, you're almost there. you got to divide both oh. sides by negative 7 to finish it off. Let's see. here. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay. Except, hold on. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. Minus right? You stole her calculator. You didn't even get it right. <laughs> <laughs> try it again. You're, you're getting some weird values here, Sawyer. Go ahead. Try that, out. Try that a different way, huh? Okay, there you go. Let's see here. How's this coming? Can I see what you're up to here? This looks really good. So you yep, yep, I really, that's good. I think I like, it should be a negative. Yeah, it's a negative. That's okay. That's okay. Our variables can be negative. That's okay. How's that coming over here? Why do we have to assign this if it's not 
I know what you mean. This is to kind of practice for what happens next here, Gwen, because what happens next, you're not going to like it. <laughs> you're not going to like it, okay? You're not going to like it, but we're going to make it work. You're not going to like it. That looks better. Now <laughs> we're going to make something happen, okay? Give that a try. All right, how's this coming over here? There you go. Oh, look at this. This is great. I love what you're doing here. I like what we're doing. So what do I have to get rid of first, that 80 or the 4? It's actually the 80, the number that's not stuck to my variable. So start by subtracting 80 from both sides. You'll be in good shape. Looks good. What? Oh, what number is this? I'm starting to worry about that calculator number 19. I feel like there's a calculator. I keep having to reset, and I'm pretty sure it's this one. Give it a shot here. Hey, 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 hey. Don't talk to anybody. I want your voice to be completely off, or I'm going to just send you to the office. Do you understand me? Yes, Angie. So, if I find this, it should be um, 17. That's great. Now divide both sides by negative 4, and you're all done. All right, everybody. Can I get you back up here? Oh, I stole this. <laughs> I stole this from you. I don't know why I stole that from you. All right. All right. All right, listen up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So I know that the angles here have got to be equal to either 87 degrees or what's the other one? Just say it. 93 degrees, because they got to add up to 180. Now, here's the thing. I know that corresponding angles have to be congruent. So whatever the heck this angle's supposed to be, it's got to be the same as whatever the heck this angle's supposed to be. It's just like when Ariana was pointing out all the angles that got to be the same. These two, these two. So we're going to write ourselves an equation. If you haven't done it already, got a pencil? All right, then, you got 80 minus 4t. Whatever that is, whatever t is, I know I got to get 90, whoops, 96. I don't know where that came from. 93 is what it's got to be. So how do I start getting rid of this stuff? Let's see if I can get a little bit of help. This one's going to come from Catherine. Catherine, what do I do to both sides first? Right, I got to get rid of the thing that's not stuck to my variable. So we're going to subtract 80 from this side. Subtract 80 from this side. That gives me a negative 4t equals 13. Now, just like Oliver said before, settle down there. Hey, hey, shut up. <laughs> Is that about right? <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, I know sometimes I can get it right. Okay, so <laughs> what's going on between these two here, Lila? Negative 4 and T, there's nothing between them. So what's happening? You remember what Oliver said was happening earlier? Let's look back. Turn back the clock. What did Oliver say was going on between the 5 and the F? That's right. And what's the opposite of that, Lila? Yes, yeah, so we're going to have to divide both sides by negative 4. Now, this tends to freak people out a bit. We get 13 divided by negative 4, or whatever that is. That's uh, negative 3.25, because people say you can't have a negative angle. Well, they're partially right. You can't have a negative angle yet, but you can have a negative variable, because this negative variable will make this all turn out. Like if I do 80 minus 4 times negative 3.25, I should get 93. Boom. What's that? That's what you were saying. Yeah, I know. That's what Gwen was asking too, right? Gwen was saying, hey, why do we care about this variable stuff? I already know it's 93. It's to get you guys ready for when stuff like this happens. Got a pencil? All right. Give me two parallel lines. We're going to cross them with a transversal. We're going to make this a little bit different this time. Hey, anybody can think of a word that's got eight letters and no repeats? Seven fails on a lot of counts there, Sawyer. <laughs> How about... 
No, it's got two C's. Chocolate. I think that might work. No, it's got two. You know, you know what work though? Watch this. Hey, you know what? It works. <laughs> you know what? It's not spelled right, but it works. Chocolate. C H O K L A T E. Chocolate. <laughs> Bonehead. <laughs> oh, it's a K. Sorry. I'm from Seattle, so uh, they taught us to write our K's like this. There, there's no K in chocolate. Uh, there's also repeated O's, but I decided uh, this is way funnier. So what I'm going to tell you guys is that line HK is parallel to line LT. I should have made those capitals, but what are you going to do? Line HK is parallel to line H, uh, LT. Now, this is the part that's going to make a lot of people unhappy here, based on our one of those, number nine. I'm going to tell you that this guy right here is 9x minus 10 degrees. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And this angle over here, this angle over here, is 5x plus 42 degrees. I'll tell you this right now. This actually right here is a little bit different than one of those number nine, and it's a lot more like one of those number ten, which we're going to take the next time we do it, one of those. So when I say teach, I want you guys to say okay. I don't know what either of these angles are. So what do I know, Ariana? Teach! I'm just saying something that Ariana said earlier today is really going to help you out here. That's 9x minus 10 degrees, 5x plus 42 degrees. What are you thinking, Angie? I was trying to write down the thing. Oh, okay. Okay, because I heard someone say, you're really good at this, Angie. And I was like, ooh, I want to see. Oh, that says HK is parallel to LT. It's to say the two lines are parallel. Because if I don't say that they're parallel, you can't do any of this. If I don't tell you that these are parallel, you can't do any of it. We're stuck. Ariana, do you, do you know what it is that you said earlier that's going to get us all out of this problem? It was when you marked things up here. I don't know what those angles are, but what do I know about them? They have to be the same. How could you say that in an equation? I'm glad we're talking. Okay, come on up in five, four... Three, two, one. Hey, guys. Shh. You guys are doing great. I think you way deserve a point. Thank you so much, everyone. That's not normally how I do things, but what are you going to do? It's right there. So here's the thing. I have no clue what these angles are. I have no idea what they could be. I even wrote the problem, and I don't remember what it is. But here's what I do know. Ariana, what do I know about these two angles? We know that those angles have to be the same. Do you guys remember when I handed Ariana my computer and she marked off all the angles that had to be the same? These four, right? L-A-O, T-A-E, K-O-A, H-O-C. Those all have to be congruent. Now, in math, how do, what symbol do we use to say that two things are the same? What symbols do we use to tell, say that two things are are the same. Let's see here. Uh, can you guys show me with your hands what that symbol looks like? I'm drawing empty cards. Yeah, there you go. It's an equal sign. So we're going to write it out like this. 9x minus 10, whatever it is, and I have no clue what that angle is, but it has to be equal to 5x plus 42. It's got to be. It's got to be. They have to be the same. Yeah, I know. It's coming back. Okay. Come on up in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. 
Now, I know a lot of you are alarmed by this, but it's okay. Remember, we can turn these into a one-sided equation pretty quickly by removing one of these x's. Do you guys want to get rid of the 5x and the 9x? Just show me with your hands. What do you want, 5x or 9x? Okay, let's get rid of the 5x. To do that, you subtract 5x here, you subtract 5x here, cross them out, 4x minus 10 equals 42. Now it's a two-step equation. Add 10 to both sides, 4x equals th uh, 52. Divide both sides by 4. And x is equal to, that's actually kind of a nice number, isn't it? 13. How many of us were able to get, or s how many of us see how I got x equals 13 and you're not too concerned about that? I'll tell you this, this is as bad as level threes get. This is like, this is, everyone's gonna get one question like this for your level threes, but just one. The other ones are gonna be ones where you actually know what the angle, one of the angles are. If that's true, if this is as bad as level threes get, how many of us feel like this isn't gonna be too bad? Okay, that's fine, we'll get some practice with it. Tomorrow we actually have lots of time to practice because we have an activity. Whoa, 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 don't put your stuff away. This problem's not over. This problem's not over. What critical piece of information appears to be missing from this problem? The angles, right? What the heck are these angles? So to find out what these angles are, what you have to do is you have to put them into these equations. So if we do 9 times 13, I get 117. Why did I do 9 times 13? Because it's 9 times x, and I figured out that 9 times 13 is 117, and then it's minus 10, which means this angle over here was 107 degrees, which means so is this, which means so is this, which means so is this, which means this one's got to be 73 degrees, because that's 180 minus 90, 107. Guys, here's what I want you to do. Go home, let that cook, look at the self-assessment. There's one kind of example we haven't looked at yet, but it's really not that bad. You can go ahead and put your calculators away, head back to your assigned seat, and I will dismiss.